Hello, welcome to In and Out of OutSystems, where I will show you something cool and useful in OutSystems in five minutes. I'm Craig St. Jean from Netlink Digital Solutions. Let's go. Today, I'd like to show you a component that's available on the OutSystems Forge called ckeditor.reactive. This component is going to allow us to take a standard text area and display it as a rich text editor so we can do things like add bold, uh, italics, and other formatting. You can see it here in my browser uh, for how to get to it. And to show how to use this, I have this basic knowledge base application where we can add topics and add in some text and edit it with just a standard text area. Um, so we'll go ahead and add something there, save it, and it's pretty basic. So if we want to make this a little bit more attractive to the user, we can change that text area to be a rich text editor through the CK editor component. So I've already installed that in this environment. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in as a dependency. Now looking at what this component offers, we have some UI flows uh, web blocks. For example, the CK editor block is a widget that's going to transform a text area into an HTML based editor. And we also have an HTML viewer container before showing that rendered HTML onto the screen, as well as some client actions to help support this. So getting started with this application, we have this text area of name text area topic text and it's pointing to this variable called topic text. Now to make this use CK editor, I'm going to pull in the CK editor component and pass in the input ID of my text area. So this is going to manipulate my existing text area. It's not going to just create a new one. So we will say text area topic text dot ID. Uh, we also have config and a couple of other options uh, with some documentation on how to manipulate those. I'll adjust config later in this video as well to show to show what that does. Now, now that I have this transforming my text area, I have to make one more change. My save was previously just saving the topic text variable but I needed to save the HTML that's stored in CK Editor. So I'm going to double click on my save, bring this down a little bit, and call CK Editor Reactive get data from editor. And here I can pass in the input ID of my text area. And then I just have to use the output of that client action to update my text within the knowledge base. So instead of saving from topic text, I'm going to use get data from editor.html. Now, one more thing I want to change here is I just have this expression. This is showing my user the knowledge base document when not in editing mode. Now, if we leave it just as is, you're going to see HTML brackets like uh, angle bracket, B, you know, close angle bracket if we're going to do a bold, and so on. We don't want that. We want it to actually show the text the way that it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that expression. And I'm going to bring in this HTML viewer container. I'm going to give it a name, HTML container. Now, since this isn't taking an input, as you can see, where it just has a source block, we need to actually set the HTML into this container. So the way that we're going to do that is right now we have this get topic detail on after fetch. This is just what's setting that topic text variable. So I'm going to bring this down and use set container HTML. And this one takes the HTML that we want to put into the container as well as the container ID. So I'm just going to use my topic text variable and put in the container ID. 
Now, if I go ahead and publish this, we can then see what that's done to my application. So we'll go ahead and go in here, refresh. And if I go into grocery list, you notice it's a little bit different here because it's trying to render that as HTML and a new line in HTML is really just more like a space. But if I click edit, we now have this nice editor with all these capabilities and we can go, you know, maybe underline that one. Maybe we'll put this one in a bulleted list and uh, then go ahead and save it. And as you can see, it's now rendered appropriately. But that toolbar was pretty big, so I want to put in my own configuration there. So here I'm going to open up config and you can see here this URL which shows how to actually configure this. Uh, I already have some configuration that I like to use. So I paste that in and I'm going to publish that. And we will reload the page. And click edit. And now we just have the things that I want it to show. So I hope this was helpful and you can now use the CK editor in your own applications if you choose. Please like and subscribe if this was useful and leave some comments below. We'll see you next time. Thank you.